I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy. Between you and your person, we'll find out what's coming up. We'll take a look and see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Gemini, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, we got this Eight of Pentacles, and it's with this beautiful sun card. The Eight of Pentacles, it actually points to necessary efforts. It's about having a lot on your plate that you need to get accomplished. Dedication to the task is important. So, if you let it work for its own sake, it can be counterproductive. So, be clear on what you're trying to accomplish. Strive for balance, because no one can or should work all the time. Now, this Eight of Pentacles, it can indicate a very hard work period. If you take a look at the picture of the Eight of Pentacles, it's the card above the word pass. You see how this man, he's working? Let me turn on the light. He's working, it looks like he, he got up in the morning, early morning, before sunrise. And he's been working all day, going into nighttime, non-stop. And it's about to become dark outside, and on top of that, it's raining. The, the raindrops are huge. So it's indicating a very, very hard work period. Just keep in mind, this does not have to be negative, but you do have to be prepared for it. Now, the Eight of Pentacles is with the Sun card. With this card, you could find that things are going very well for you. However, your finances, even those, your money is in good shape when you get this card. Now, this doesn't mean that you should lose focus on what's important. And for a lot of you, money is not high on the list. And for some of you, it is. It's a good time to socialize when you get a sun card. Keep that in mind. Meet new people. Get out and about. And if you're looking for a new job, this card, it signifies it's right around the corner. Yeah, we can't really do a lot of out and abouts these days. And socialize, but you can do it online. It's saying it's a good time for that. So basically, you and your person, recent past energy, eight of pentacles clarified by the sun card. So I'm getting for a lot of you, Gemini's. Um, you made your person really happy, and and they were really really working hard to keep this connection going. And I'm getting that you probably put in a lot of effort also. But your person, boy, did you, you make this person so happy. They just, they went to work nonstop. Nonstop. Overtime. Yeah, they just wanted to make sure that the relationship made it. Because you made this person so happy. You added a lot of sunshine to their life. So... You inspired your person. You gave them passion and motivation to do what it took to keep the relationship strong. So that's beautiful. Let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what's coming up for the two of you. Well, we got the Four of Wands and it's with the Page of Cups. Now, the Four of Wands, it often indicates that you could be attending a special event. It's going to be way more fun than you're anticipating, so make sure to go. You'll have a good time. If you have a business, it's likely to be going very well. You'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you also. Now, keep in mind, although this is a very positive card in a reading, it is showing that there's a need to keep your wits about you. Although you do deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, at this time, but just know you're probably still in some kind of building up phase. And now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. The Four of Wands. Four of Wands can also indicate that you might be thinking of moving or you, maybe you're moving, some type of move. Now it's with the Page of Cups. 
Page of Cups is a card below the word present. It show, it's showing a need to play, dream, have a little fun when you get this card. When you get this card in a reading, it can sometimes mean that you've been taking yourself way too serious. There was a poet or a writer that once said, The one thing that I've learned over the years is the difference between taking one's work serious and taking oneself serious. The first is imperative and the second can be a disaster. So you have to know the difference. So coming up for you and your person, Gemini, Four of Wands clarified by this Page of Cups. So yeah, this is going really good. Four of Wands. This is, this is the marriage commitment long-term card in the deck. Yeah, 11, 11. Yep. This, this is an indication that a relationship can become a whole lot more committed. Up, up to and including potential marriage. Yeah, this is a good thing. It's with the Page of Cups, like I said. Um, yeah, I mean, your person, they're really feeling you, Gemini. You make them happy. You put a smile on their face. You give them motivation and, and inspiration to keep going. And they like that you'd like to have a lot of fun. Yeah. And they see you as someone that they could be with for the rest of their life. They see you as the end-all, be-all. Marriage, long-term, commitment. Beautiful. I love it. So let's see what the challenge is. We got the Four of Cups ends with the Queen of Wands. Now the Four of Cups is a card about wishful thinking. It warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and count your many blessings that we currently experience. And not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So just be sure you're counting your blessings. Don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because actually a lot of life, it has to do with where you put your focus. So put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. Now it's with this Queen of Wands, which can refer to a woman. She could have a lot of fire type of energy. She could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, when this is not referring to an actual person, it can stand for getting a lot accomplished. Maybe focus on work or career. Queen is positive, uplifting energy. Now, keep in mind, when she does stand for an actual person in your life, she's a good friend, solidly on your side. Even though this person can seem a bit self-absorbed. Also, if you're trying to conceive and you get the Queen of Wands in a reading, this is one of the more positive signs that there can be. So your challenge, Gemini, Four of Cups, clarified by this Queen of Wands. Yeah, wow. Mm. Yeah, I'm getting interesting energy here. Okay, so this Queen of Wands, uh, what I'm getting is that for some of you, your person, the person you're involved with, Gemini, they have someone that's, that's very, very determined about them. Very determined. Because the Queen of Wands is egotistical. She's used to getting what she wants. She's very confident. She knows her worth. A lot of fire type of energy, this Queen of Wands. A person knows someone like this. And she's, she's determined about your person. She has some regrets. Yeah, she has regrets. She, could, she probably knows that he's... Your person has, he or she, your person, okay? Your person has slipped through her fingers. The Queen of Wands um, 
has regrets that he, your person got away. Yeah, because this Four of Cups is about regrets. Wishing things were different. Feeling unloved or devalued. Yeah, so your person, they know someone who's who's interested in them and this person can be a very determined type of individual. Yeah, and this person is having regrets that your person is not with them. So let's see what the outcome is. We've got the Wheel of Fortune and it's with the Queen of Swords. Now the Wheel of Fortune, it's a card that reminds us that this too shall pass, whether it's good times, bad times, it passes. If all of a sudden you find yourself sitting on top of the world, keep your perspective as that too, like everything else, it will change. So you have to live in the now, count your blessings, and just realize that much of life is really outside of our control. So even that's okay, roll with the changes and think positive. Now, it's with the Queen of Swords, which can point to a woman in your life. This woman, she is one that's not to be trifled with. Often she would have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. If this is not a person, it can point to a need for you to be forceful, honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you may need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want. You already know what you need. Now you just have to go after it. Like I said, the Queen of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. And a lot of people find this energy really abrasive. So, the outcome for you, Gemini, Will of Fortune, with this Queen of Swords. Yeah. Like I said, your person, they, they, there's someone interested in your person. It could be you, but I'm getting for most of you. Um... It's your person. Uh, yeah, so this person, she's she's showing up in the outcome again. She was in the challenge, and now she's in the outcome. Wait a minute. There's some... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. If you could believe this, I have my windows closed, and you still hear people outside. So let me just refocus. Sorry for the interruptions. Okay. So, your person. There's someone interested in your person, Gemini. They have regrets. They're sitting at the park with their head down. Like the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is the card above the word challenge. They are so stuck on regret and wishing things were different that they can't even get up off the grass. Their hand is bleeding. There's blood on this person's hand. If you put your screen into full mode, maybe you can see the details of his hand, but there's a lot of blood on his hand. He's so stuck in regret and wishing his life away that he can't even get up to take care of himself. So someone is, is not taking it well that your person is moving on and they see that they're really happy with you. So this person, this Queen of Wands, she's starting to feel that fortune is in her favor. For some reason, she just feels like she's, she's had a lucky... She's on a lucky streak right now. She's finally got up off the grass because the will of fortune is there. So she's feeling like this queen of swords now. Like she could be a strong candidate or what is that word? Contingency? I don't know. I'm not that great with words, but she feels that she could step in. 
Yeah. Oh, if she's she's thinking she would need to be forceful about it. Yeah. I'm not just saying anything. I'm not saying anything scary, but just be. She feels like she, if she interferes, put it that way, because the Queen of Swords can be about a, a mother or a mother-like figure that may interfere in the relationship. So she feels like now is the time to interfere and put her foot down. Put her foot down like the Queen of Swords does. Because the Queen of Swords knows what she wants. She knows what she needs. And she puts her foot down and she goes for it. Yeah, so. Yeah, she's got regrets. She, she sees her person. She feels like it's her person, but it's your person. She sees that they're moving on and they look so happy with you. She's got regrets. And the Queen of Wands is determined. And then she's on top of that. She's the Queen of Swords too. So don't be surprised if you get someone who wants to interfere in your relationship with your person. Because she's feeling like uh, fortune is in her favor now. I don't know why. Something told her. A little birdie told her that luck is on her side now. Go for it. So don't be surprised if someone pops up from your person's past or maybe someone he works with or someone he used to know. Yeah, she's coming for him. So be prepared. So, Gemini, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated as you know general readings. They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I will also put a link below on the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How do you see yourself? Best case scenario? And what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks? There's also a link below for personal readings. If you'd like to try one of those. So. Yeah. What sign am I on? I think I've been saying Gemini. It's so hard to keep up with 12 signs, but whatever sign this was that I mentioned in the beginning, that's what this reading is for, okay? Sorry if I said different signs during the reading. But, um, yeah, so keep in mind, when you get these readings, the roles can be switched. Yes, they can be reversed. And also... Uh, if you're not dealing with anyone romantically, the other person could actually be a friend, a family member, or a situation. So please take the readings for however it resonates, because these are general readings, they're not personal readings. So Gemini, I, I can never say it enough. Yeah, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.